speed of your growth, the speed of your success in business is going to be based on the speed of your implementation. Now, that may sound simplistic, but it's actually quite profound because oftentimes we end up in two different places. Person number one is the procrastinator. They get into network marketing and maybe they are new to this whole profession. You know, they're figuring out their comp plan, they're figuring out their product, and they kind of get stuck in, we'll call it the land of learning. They just get stuck trying to absorb everything and they never get off of go. And you know, so much of what we learn in life is what we learn like after we've done something, right? We have the learn knowledge, like which is like what you learn in the books, what you learn in, you know, by reading about it, what you learn even maybe by watching somebody else do it. But then you have your activity knowledge, which is basically like what you pick up from actually doing it. And here's something that, of course, everybody can relate to. I'm sure you remember when you're like 15 years old, you had your driver's permit, you were totally pumped, you had to read up everything on a book. Um, and then, of course, you get out there and you get in the car with your instructor. And then, you know, that's where things really happen because, you know, you actually are doing it. And when you actually do stuff is when you learn so much. So the speed of your growth is the speed of your implementation. If you're always constantly trying to learn everything and we're like a nervous Nelly about getting into action, then it's gonna slow down our success. So that is one type of person. The second type of person is the person that is out there crushing it. They love to execute and get into action and really do stuff, but maybe they feel a little overwhelmed. Like they have so many um, projects or things that they wanna learn or things that they wanna do with their team and it can be a little overwhelming at times. Do you know what I'm talking about? Just curious, for the people that are on with me right now, if you are the first person and you maybe kind of get a little bit more in the procrastination mode or maybe you just kind of like to learn and absorb stuff, put a one in the comment section. So I just have an idea, you know, which one you feel you are. Now, if on the other hand, you are the second person and you feel like a little overwhelmed, like you just have so much on your plate, um, you want to do everything, but it's kind of like, ah, where do we start? Then put a two in the comment section. So I know, know where, where we're at. So let's talk about the second person. So, and well, actually, we're going to talk about both these and what we what we can do to to really, you know, get off a go and start implementing these things in our business. Because the faster we implement, the faster we're going to start seeing growth. So obviously, if you are the first person, it's really just about getting into action. You need like the knowledge that you need to be successful in our profession is actually pretty minimal. Um, you know, it's so funny because in the beginning, I think you gotta go out there and I think that you need to kind of screw it up. I mean, I remember my first couple plans that I did, my first couple contacts, my first couple of anything. I mean, none of us are good when we start. If you're good when you do it the first time, the truth of the matter is you waited way too long to do it. And so, you know, it's about taking massive action, not, per not perfect action. That's one of the phrases that my husband uses. I love it, I think it's awesome. And so many times we just get so focused on having to be perfect, having to be right, having to be, you know, everything, you know, all the all the T's crossed, all the I's dotted. That's not reality, that's not the real world. That's not what it takes to win. What it takes to win when you start is gonna be messy. It's gonna be ugly. I mean, it's gonna just be a hot mess. And you know what, you have to be okay with that because, you know, for you to succeed, you're gonna have to go through the learning curve and you're gonna have to go through some times where you, you're gonna fail and, and that's okay. I mean, if you always want to feel like you're not failing or you're not you know, doing anything wrong, then this is not really the profession for you because it's the learning curve that makes you strong. It's the learning curve that, that, that creates you know, your charisma, it creates your story, it creates everything that people can relate to. So like we cannot, we don't wanna, um, you know, hold that hold that against the, the process. The learning curve is so important. So if you're person number one and you're a little bit kind of in the land of learning, you're maybe a little bit on the procrastination side, then you just have to realize it's part of the process of success and just embrace it, go for it and make it happen and pick the area that you know that you need to really get after and just go after it like a bull. Just just go out there, shake some things up, break up some, some dishes in the kitchen, and then learn from the process of what you do because it's learning in the process that's gonna make you good. 
So that's the first thing. Now, if you are the second person and you're like, oh my gosh, okay, I have all this stuff. I have all these fantastic ideas from amazing people, people that I know, you know, they're awesome, they're credible, all of that kind of stuff. Then, you know, what, what can we do there? Okay, well, the first thing is we definitely need to do a brain dump, okay? Like, we need to take all of these ideas and we need to get it down on paper because if it's just roaming around in your head, it's gonna drive you bonkers. You know, it's kind of like you like your computer, and it's it, you're a computer, and you're using up all the all the RAM, right? You're like you're using up all the stuff that you need to use on a, and operate on a daily basis. So we need to brain dump that on a paper, open you up a notebook, and just jot everything down. So you don't feel like it's swimming around in your mind because trust me, that's something that I have felt in the past myself. Um, so you just got to get it out of your head and onto paper, whether it's in a laptop or whether it's on paper, paper, whatever the case may be. Then I think the, the second thing that you have to do is you have to really prioritize. You know, what is gonna create the biggest impact in your organization, in your growth right now? What's gonna give you the biggest return on your investment? You know, the investment of time is the most valuable investment that you have. And once it's once it's lost, once it's spent, we can never get it back. So just think about, hey, let me dump all of my stuff down on paper. That's number one. Number two is let's put put these things in a, an order of priority. Like what is the most important? Number one, number two, number three, number four, however many you have. And you want to think about the order of importance based on your return on investment of your time or what you think it's going to yield in your team. Like how much growth do you think it's going to give you? And then... The third part is you're gonna go ahead and pick number one, start with number one, put the rest in your desk or in your laptop somewhere, and then just go to town on what it takes for number one. And if you do that, it's gonna free up your mind space. It's gonna free up feeling overwhelmed. It's gonna free up just feeling like you don't know where to begin and a little bit, you know, just kind of taken back by all the stuff that you know that you really wanna get done. And it's just gonna make it so much easier for you because all you have is that one thing that you need to move forward with. So those are my tips for you on this particular topic. I absolutely love it. It's probably gonna be something I use and keep in my repertoire uh, forever. For as long as I'm in my business career, you know, you have those things that are huge and impactful and it just kind of stays in your brain. So keep this keep this for yourself. You can, you can take this and make it your own. You know, the speed of your growth is the speed of your implementation. So the faster we can implement in our business, the faster we're going to see the success and the growth that we are looking for. Now, if you felt in the past that maybe you've had things that, you know, you wanted to implement and you haven't, and you maybe have some things that has held you back, or like, you know, you really are ready to get to the finish line. You could see yourself, you know, ranking on up. You can see yourself being a leader of a huge team, but you're not quite there yet. Then I have something that will help you. It's actually a 10 step process that, that I put together that, you know, I went through myself, I've seen so many different people go through it, and the success that we're seeing, the breakthrough that we're seeing, it's off the charts. So if that sounds like something that you wanna start implementing in your life, you wanna start seeing yourself as a winner, you wanna start seeing yourself as a top leader, as, you know, one of the number one income earners in your company, as somebody that's ranking up, as somebody that's making moves, as somebody that, you know, has the ability to, you know, fire their boss if they want to, then here's what you wanna do. Click on the link that's listed here. It's right in the description. It's on my website, summergeronimo.com slash 10 steps. And that's gonna get you that 10 step. It's an extra free bonus training that will help you in going to the next level. So that is it for today, my friends. Take care, be blessed, and I will see you all next time. For more great training and to receive your free bonus training, the 10 step process for getting out of your own way and finally rank advancing. Visit summergeronimo.com.